Hello and welcome to Chess with Simon. I'm Simon. I just played a game I really enjoyed and wanted to share it. So how to beat the Stafford Gambit. A lot of people play the Stafford these days. And I've gone wrong against it. It's easy to go wrong against it. Engine doesn't like it, so we take them out. There's other things you can do. You can play d4. I think let's play d4. You can play d4. White's still a bit better. But um, I think d4 in a way is better because if they've just learned a few lines and they're not expecting this, if they play their normal moves, just everything goes wrong. But um, you, you like to get into this sort of situation. I, can, I tend to play bishop d3 here. Is that not right? Bishop d3, not right. It's not wrong. Knight c5. Okay, actually, what it prefers is queen e2. I mean, instinctively, we try to avoid things like this because it um, blocks the bishop in. But, oh, look, the knight's got to jump around a lot, though. Okay, so the point is, what you can do is play d4 when the Stafford arrives on the board. Today, I decided to... Um, what do they say? You can only refute a gambit by accepting it. But the engines found this new move, e5, which this engine doesn't like, but the bigger engines really do like. And after this move, you just think, like, what's black got? Like, you know, what's not to like here? So, just hold on to this nice centre. Check was okay. Taking was okay. This wasn't the best move. I mean, I just, you know, it's a, it's a blitz game, right? So, I just wanted to develop, and I thought, well, if he takes, I'll take back. I'll see three, and it bolsters the D-pawn, but the engine just wants to castle. Okay, fine. Well, he took, and I took back. And now the black king's in the centre, the white king isn't, which particularly in a blitz game uh, is more fun. I played this move, which is incorrect. He wants to play bishop e3. Okay, and then just, which is better after bishop e3. But I thought this was fun because um, after takes with the pawn, you've got, I assume you got queen h5, and then after g6, I was going to play king e5, I suppose. No, queen e5. Um, yeah, which, which which looks all right, actually. Um, but anyway, my opponent took the queen. You stick the rook on the open file every day of the week there, and here I missed something. I played this bishop move, which is kind of natural to attack the pinned piece, but uh, you wanted to go bishop a3, and the minute you see that, you realise why. Because I suppose when black castles, you just take on uh, c5, right? And it's uh, it's really bad. So what is it? Oh, I see. Look, you can do this, actually. Black, black can give up the exchange by taking here, but the point is, white's just better. Um, these rooks take here. White's just better. So, bishop a3 was a good move. Didn't play it. Played this instead. Apparently F6 is a great move. I mean, frankly, F6 is a pretty natural move, I would say. Bishop B3 would have been better. Castle. Nice, inaccurate check there. I mean, this you call this a mistake if you want. It's not really a mistake. If you look at it, white's still better. And it's kind of natural to double the rooks. Bishop there. This apparently is good, according to the computer. I don't know. I mean, I suppose I wanted access to the E7 square, didn't I? Which I then got. And now, okay, you can see it on the computer. Can you see it on the computer? Okay. If, you, if you're looking at the computer lines, well done. If you're not looking at the computer lines, it's White's move. What does White do? White has a nice move here. To be honest, how, how long did it take me? Let's see how long it took me to find it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Queen F7. Um, and you can just see it's all gone because... G7 is threatened. You can't take it because of the rook check at the back wins. Um, the rook on D7 is attacked twice. Just too many threats, right? I mean, the computer flatters me. What's, what you've got to see is the weakness of the back rank. And you've got to see that if black takes there, it's to the check at the back just wins. Um, so this was the best move. Took the rook. Queen came here. And then I think now I was worried about I wanted to play this rook move, but I think there might be a perpetual here. Yeah, there's a perpetual. That's why I didn't want to do it. Perpetual. We don't want that. So, I didn't do that. I played it safe, as we say in the chess world. Push. I just hit the queen because, I don't know, I didn't have, I've got a minute left. This is bad, apparently. You've got to play h6 because of white's next move, which is this. Which wins, right? Mating two. So that was fun. And it was fun because 
you know, the Stafford's quite popular, even though I mean, this guy's high rated. I mean, the Stafford's popular against um, even strong players. Uh, it gives black activity. It annoys white because it's unsound. But, um, but, you know, like so many of these unsound lines, you've got to know what you're doing. And uh, today I took a step forward in terms of knowing what I'm doing. And maybe we can all take a step forward together. Hope you're all well. See you soon.